Hi guys, welcome to Exam Tips Describe Workshop. So, uh, some common approach. What is describe? Describe is asking you to say what you can see. So, for example, you can talk about the method used to obtain the results in provided figure, table. You can describe the method, it uh, means someone else could use the information given to get the results in provided figure, table and you don't repeat any steps or ideas provided in the stem of the question in your answer. So we will have a look at the uh, few scenarios of described questions. So scenario number one is using just your knowledge. So the question is to describe how a polypeptide bond is formed between two amino acids to form a dipeptide. And there are two marks for this question. So again, Imagine in your head you're joining two amino acids, you're focusing here on the peptide bond because they want you to describe how a peptide bond is formed. So what we need to do, we need to say how. So by condensation reaction and where. So between amine and carboxyl group. Okay, so this is your main aspect peptide bond. So let's have a look at, uh, an, again, another example with using knowledge. So the secondary structure of a polypeptide is produced by bonds between amino acids. Describe how. So what is our main uh, idea here is the secondary structure and bonds. Okay, so what are the bonds? Those are hydrogen bonds because that's what we will see in the secondary structure. And again, where are they? So they're between amino and carboxyl group. So to the point, okay, bonds in secondary structure, name and say where they are because you're only describing, saying what you can see. But scenario number two, the methods, okay? So examiner could ask you to provide the method. So for example, describe how the student could use an eyepiece graticule to determine the mean diameter of stomata. So other words say how this can be done. So describe step by step so somebody can follow it. The main aspect here, it's the mean and it's of course eyepiece graticule because that's what they want. So we're going to measure this stomach using IPS graticule because that's the equipment we will be given. We need to calibrate IPS graticule against stage micrometer ruler or graph paper. So that's what you know. And then referring to this mean, we need to take a number of measurements to calculate a mean. Okay. So scenario number three, we will look at the differences between general questions and specific questions. So when a vaccine is given to a person, it leads to the production of antibodies against a disease causing organism described how for five marks. So that's an easy five marker recall question. There is no tricks in here. It's just a general question. So you just providing a model answer a general approach. You don't need to name pathogens in this answer, it's just a general answer. So vaccine contains antigen from pathogen, microphage or antigen presenting cell, could be B cell here, uh, presents antigen on its surface, T cell with complementary receptor protein binds to antigen, T cell stimulates B cell with complementary antibody on its surface, B cell secretes many uh, antibodies and B cells divide to uh, form clone, okay, that each will produce the same antibody. So that's a model box standard answer. But then let's have a look how we can make it a little bit different. So that's a specific question still about the uh, on the vaccine. Okay, so describe how vaccination can lead to protection against bacterial and you've got the name of the bacteria here. So the question, that of course, it's slightly different because it's given you the name of the pathogen. So if that's a specific question, in your first answer, you must specify where is this antigen coming from and the rest stays as before. 
Okay, so general specific questions so look at the differences. If they name the pathogen, for example, you need to include that in your answer. So approach number five, looking at the differences. That's a really common question where uh, students don't get marks, and those are easy marks. Here you've got glycogen and cellulose, the both are carbohydrates, and describe two differences between them, okay? Uh, between the structure, so structure, not a function, not anything else, just the structure of them. So where is normal mistake coming from? From the fact that you do not link them together. So if you're describing what you can see as the difference in the structure, you must link each marking point together to cellulose and glycogen. So cellulose, it's made of beta glucose and glycogen it's made of alpha glucose so you need to show this contrast here so what else you could be talking about um differences in the structure could be that cellulose is straight and glycogen is branch cellulose has straight chain and glycogen it's coiled and then the differences between the glycosidic bonds so last scenario is so what approach, okay? That is typical question when the describe and explain comes together, okay? So starch is a carbohydrate often stored in plant cells. Describe and explain two features of starch that make it a good storage molecule. So here, describe, say what you can see, explain, use your knowledge, Use your knowledge to say why is it a good storage molecule. And here, easy so what approach, okay? So statement, so explanation. So what you can see, it's branch. So makes it compact. What you can see, it's a polymer. So provides glucose for respiration. That's the that explanation bit, okay? So again, if you've got describe and explain in one question, Statement one is description, what you can see, so what, and then explanation, so back it up with your biological knowledge. Right, so that's everything for this CRIPE workshop. See you later.